talk about Martinez Hammers and Martinez Tool Company. Why would you spend $300 on a hammer? And the answer is because it's cool. No, I, <laughs> it's a very high quality tool. Um, I, I really do think that it is worth the value of the $300, but I just wanted to kind of talk about my thoughts on it. Um, I've been using it for around a month now and just how it works, functions, and why would you spend $300 on a hammer? So that kind of kicks us off. Uh, one thing I wanted to hit on, also, you always find little things that you wish you would have added in when you're doing videos. In the last video I did, I talked about Diamondback tool belts, and there's always something that if you do videos and, and channel work, there's always something that you want to change about the video, but you know, eventually at some point you just have to put it up. So, and you can you can only do so many shots. But I'm not paid bar, by Martinez. Um, that the tool was not sent to me. The video is not sponsored by them. These are all things that I've bought with my own money. The, the same goes for the Diamondback tool belt video. Uh, that is something that I bought. Um, now I have more hammers to, to set and talk about than I did tool belts and you know I don't always have and I don't think you guys always have the money to go out and buy um, you know three four different tool belts at five to six hundred dollars a pop and then talk about them you know I mean there's a lot of people that do that on channels and they kind of talk about their pros and cons to it and I get that but sometimes we have to make you know the best informed decision that we have with our money at the time and you know obviously talking about money a $300 hammer is is a little bit on the the fringe of what people are going to spend um, for a hammer personally when I started talking about buying one to a couple of the guys that I work with when you when you bring up that kind of price point with people I think it blows their mind that that's even an option in the hammer world I think that that is in part because what most people know the ceiling for a hammer is a 50 or 60 60 dollar hammer um, there is really no concept for people of a 300 dollar hammer they exist there's reasons for them and we'll kind of talk about some of that but I, I just wanted to kind of talk about my hammer journey how I wound up with a Martinez and what I think about it so to kind of start off with um, first hammer I had ever owned. This was bought for me when I was three years old. I was in my uncle's wedding, and I've always had it. I've always liked hand tools. I've always been a tool guy, um, and it's you know it's a good hammer. Uh, now I wasn't doing anything professionally with it from the time I was three to the probably the time I was in my twenties, but they're you know S Wing makes good good tools, um, and I've always kind of stuck with S Wing. Uh, the tool or the the hammer that I bought to work with when I started doing construction work for a living I went straight back to another S-Wing and this has been a great hammer um, I really didn't know anything about this end of hammers um, when I bought this and you know it, it fared me well uh, there's still somewhere in the $50 range for this style of S-Wing hammer but this one was getting to that point where the claw was getting really worn down and wasn't functioning like it was when it was new and the grip was starting to slide off of the handle. I didn't want to wind up losing it on a job, get somebody hurt, um, and then it was starting to come through on the end of the handle as well. So if you used it to tap on something, it would, it would cause some damage. Nonetheless, good hammer, um, but what kind of kicked me off into going towards the Martinez route, a guy that has a hardware store locally here where I live at started picking up another uh, company and was selling them in-house and it's this hammer right here it's a boss hammer company um, and it's another good tool now this was my first what I would say is expensive hammer and this one runs in the hundred and ten ish dollar range and it's a good hammer but it's a full-size framing hammer and I just wanted to get something that was more between a finish hammer that was more versatile I could do a few other things with but was more leaning towards the finish side and so I started to look in to see what Boss offered in more of the finish line and there's a there's a few things that I guess they have it it falls into the finish category 
but they tend to be a bit more on the bulky side and to get into the full titanium construction hammer you're you're getting really close to this price point without the benefits that the Martinez offers and we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second so if you don't know, I mean, between these two hammers I'm holding here, these are titanium hammers. One, this is a titanium head. This one's a steel head with a titanium body, and obviously this one's wood. Um, now, if you've never seen Boss hammers, they've got some neat things about them. Um, this handle is an inch and a half wide, and it's also set to where you can use this claw as a squaring system, and the, the head of this hammer is a squaring system, and use it as a speed square. It works. I've done it. The hammer overall is 16 inches long, so you can do small layout with it. And I think they've thought a lot of good things out with it. But as I would use it in different things, I'd start to tear it up because we do do some demo and things. And I didn't want to be replacing wood handles left and right. Um, and I, I tend to run a tool backpack, so this is a little bit larger than what fits comfortably inside of that backpack. So I was looking at the Boss hammers to see if... I might buy one of their more finished style hammers that was more of a full body metal hammer with a with a rubber grip and that's kind of what led me down the journey of looking at a couple of different ones and I ultimately landed on the Martinez the reason I went to the Martinez hammer is because it has all those good capabilities of saving uh, wear and tear on the body because of the, the shock reduction with the titanium which if you've been researching these things you probably know everything I'm already saying but Martinez had offers the ability to service this over the life of the hammer so no more the grips falling off um, the head shot whatever uh, that's why I didn't go this route I didn't buy a stiletto I didn't buy something else I want something that's gonna last me a lifetime and people would argue, you, you know, there's no reason to spend $300 on a hammer. Well, you're going to spend $300 on a hammer, just not all at one time. And that was my point to getting a hammer that I can service over my entire life, and I don't have to go out and replace it. If this grip wears out, I cut it off, I call them, I get a new one, it goes right back. So like I said, and same thing with the head. Um, that's what I like about it, is it's, it's a lifetime tool. Uh, yeah, it's neat, and it kind of, it's, uh, you, you, you've got to like tools to want to spend that kind of price on it, but I wanted something that I could have for the rest of the time that I chose to, to do construction work and, and work with tools, which was probably going to be for the rest of my life. Um, in in the, the journey of getting from, you know, this being the hammer that I used for the last seven years, this being the hammer that I kind of ha always had growing up, never worked with professionally but when I started to trend to these two hammers I was going to get another nice S-wing and I thought well maybe I could solve that problem of the rubber grip by getting one with the leather stack so I got a, another S-wing I ordered it offline that's why I still have it because I didn't I didn't ultimately send it back and I just figured I would use it as a shop hammer but it, it works out good because I can show this to you on this video um, there's a couple of drawbacks to going to, to stacked leather um, and the, the full you know metal body throughout is they're, they're pretty heavy you know in the realm of these lighter hammers today but um, stacked leather is very slick uh, a, lot, a lot more slick than a, a grip rubber hammer and then I couldn't believe how poor the fit and finish was on this hammer so I just didn't ultimately decide that I was going to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but I kept it like like I said I kept it here for you know sake of the video. But I want to show you I haven't really used it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. I can barely tell on my camera as I'm looking at it, but the paint's coming off of it, and I've I haven't even hardly used it. All up here in the claw, it's coming off, and then this is what's crazy: the the claw is so misshaped. One claw is larger than the other, and this one hooks out really far. This one's more straight, um, and they're even ground differently. It was bizarre to me that 
that's what the quality you're going to get out of a $60 hammer is. That's why I went to the Martinez because I just, I just didn't want to keep going down this path. And that's why I'm saying, yeah, you're, you're probably, some people might not spend $300 over a lifetime on hammers. But almost everybody I know that, that does this type of work owns an S-Wing hammer. Well, they last a long time, but if you buy, let's say, four hammers over the, the whole time that you do construction work, you're going to be getting close to this price point. Now, you can shave off a few dollars on these depending on how you want to order it. I ordered the orange so that it was more high vis. If I leave it laying somewhere, I can see it um, and I don't lose it as easily. So to me, that was worth a little bit of extra cost just to have um, an, an easily visible tool uh, laying somewhere or if it went into some insulation in an attic, whatever, I could, I could find it a little bit easier. But they, they make a non-coated uh, version. I think the head's still painted, but the body's the, the bare titanium. And it's, I believe, in like the 250 range or something like that. So you can get them a little bit cheaper. But um, to me, I, I didn't mind to spend a little bit more to have it the way that I wanted when you're spending that kind of money on the tool in the first place. So that's pretty much it for this video. I kind of wanted to talk about why I chose that hammer, um, the, the journey that I've had with different hammers. Now, I've obviously worked with different ones. Um, when I was a mechanic, I've, I've had plenty of S wings. Um, I got tired of, for the same reason of this hammer, replacing wooden handles left and right, that I went to a S wing ball peen hammer. And it, it's, you know, I still have it. It's a great hammer. But, you know, as far as doing this type of work professionally on a day to day basis, that's kind of the progression that led me to the Martinez. So I wanted to share that information with you on it and just kind of tell you, you know, what, what my thoughts were about it, but, you know, we appreciate you being here with us. You know, if you've, you know, got comments about these, if you have some questions about the Martinez, uh, you know, drop us some information down below, shoot me a comment, you know, tell us what, what you like running. So, um, we appreciate you hanging out with us. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. As always, take care and have a good day.